up, everyone? Hmm. Hello, hello. 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 Is everybody ready for Thanksgiving? I am very over. Very <laughs> I know. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have to go to uh, Boy Wonder's house for Thanksgiving because I'm sure his mom looks it up. No, I bet. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Aubrey? You got any plans? Uh, at the moment, I got. I got some of my plans, but you know, yeah, yeah. they're not all—they're not all yet in order. But I'm looking forward to having all of the the fun. I cannot believe how quickly this year has gone, dude. It is amazing to me that we are coming up on 2024 already, and we are at episode 48 right now. Oh my yeah. god! Oh, I just I just it. It. Yeah. Oh my god. What, what was that? What was that boy wonder? Oh, at the five. Yep. Oh, the, we yeah. are almost there. We are almost. There. We should do something special. We should have some cake. <laughs> yeah. And we got we got some great episodes planned for everyone too. That is right. That is right. Our friend John could not be in tonight. He had some other mm -hmm. things to do. So hopefully, he will be back Hi, with John. us next week. We will. Find yeah. out Sorry, we weren't here last week. By the way, we had we had a lot of crazy stuff happen in the studio. So yes, yeah, so we 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 uh we had people a lot of uh, personal things going on, and then things didn't get uploaded the way we thought, and so we didn't have all of our clips prepared. Even saying that, I want to let you know that tonight's probably going to be a little bit shorter than most nights because we don't have any Fairly. pop culture clips to do. It's all medical clips because what we're going to be talking about, um, I think is it's it's. Uh, um, the captain and I were talking about it before yeah. the show. It's more common than most of the stuff that we cover. Usually the stuff we cover on here is like, you know, diseases that you may you may never encounter somebody who's ever had this disease or, yeah. you know, um, maybe really life-threatening things, uh, bigger things that maybe you know of other people, but they're bigger diseases. Or they're this older, one is, diseases. yeah. This one was a special request for our buddy Alex out there. Alex uh, wanted to know more about our topic. So, Captain, you want to let him know what our topic is here? I'll put up the, the little card here. Yeah, our uh, topic is RSV, respiratory uh, centicule virus. I want to say that's what it's called, sure. but I might have centicule. That's what it looks like to me, but I think it might be. Yeah, yeah. that's a tough one. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, read. yeah, centicule. I, that's all I can read it as. Anyway, <laughs> it's a common, it's a common respiratory virus that usually causes mild cold-like symptoms. Most people recover in a week or two, but RSV can be serious. It's usually people that are very young, and very old. Excuse me. Right. Oh, 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 oh. That's why I'm not tired. I just. Uh, <laughs> and it, it, it seems to affect everybody on the spectrum. Mostly with younger people is where I yeah. seem to see. Um, and that's probably where it's going to cause the most difficulty or challenge. I didn't really see statistics on people dying of this or like, you know, I've, um, I've, I have, serious um, end. Yeah. When I was going through all the medical clips and everything, they said it can be serious. And one interesting thing that I did, that I did find is that COVID is actually very much like RSV. It cover mm. has a lot of the same symptoms, funny enough. Right. Well, oh, they're actually very, very similar. It's like an evolution of RSV. So that is that is something that's kind of interesting. Right. Um, I, I I was seeming to notice I mean, in the notes when I was looking for it. It's it's not the cold, but it's very common and similar to the cold. In fact, the symptoms of yes. um, RSV are the same as having a cold. Um, the yeah, treatment I is exactly the same. Just getting plenty of bed rest. Um, you know. Uh, and fueling your body, but it it did seem to be different. So yeah, it was a different thing. But um, they said that you would be uh, you would find it hey, say blood one. work. Just say what? See, oh, yeah, I told you he'd be here. Yeah, <laughs> say what? Wong. What is up, Daddy? Hi, hi, Say Wong. It's good to have you here. Dude, are, are you like psychic? Say, say Wong has never been on this show before. Like I'm and sorry. somehow you call it. <laughs> no, no, the captain no. can feel your presence, Say Wong. She knew I, you were I coming. I can feel in you tonight. in the forest. The forest is <laughs> uh, Yeah. Kind of funny. But, so, uh, yeah. 
so this is um i mean it's it's something that um i've uh the other thing that i saw that caught me off guard or i thought was kind of funny is it says typically by the age of four everybody will have had rsv at some yeah that's that was really interesting um it seems to be something that's communicable by droplets so like if somebody coughs onto you and their little spit gets onto you um the virus that's how the virus can can be you know transferred yeah. uh, I, just had, I just had another show I did, uh, uh, of like you know topics we could go over but anyways that, that's not even <laughs> it. That's also, sorry my my adhd brain but Tae Wong is so good for you to watch live. I am I'm excited that you're here. I missed Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with Wong. Yeah, thank you for hanging out with us. I mean um, that. More than just our banter back and forth. <laughs> we love it's it's like Say Wong is part of the, the KCP family here on air. He is like he's like the host that's off air that you never see. <laughs> yeah. He's true. in on every show. Um uh, Aubrey, since you grabbed the clips this week, do you want to? I put them in an order I thought it would be, but I, you know, obviously, uh, you know, you picked them so you would know the order that's best. You want to run film this week? Uh, I can. I, it's interesting because they don't really, they're not giving me the way that they look. They're not really, it's not really giving me a lot of, yeah. So we'll just go through them in order as they are put here just because. Well, I have, they, it, I have a, I put Good Morning America first and ABC News Clip second. And then okay. symptoms third, American Lung Association fourth, um, treatment Perfect. and prevention fifth. Yeah, I'll run them. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're gonna watch. Um, we're gonna watch a little bit of video clip and give you more. Yeah, information. I mean, this is kind of media. It's Good Morning America, but it's still not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still yeah. more medical than not. That's true. Yeah. Aubrey right. did the the most of the research or all the research this week, actually. So all right. Well, 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 I was in a. I was in an overachiever mood this last <laughs> couple weeks, and I, yeah, I did a lot. Anyway, okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah. 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 It depends. Yes. Yeah. So I, I think I think that to start it off though too is it's not necessarily saying that trans women. It all comes down to self ID. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. It depends. Yes. Yeah. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live. So I, uh, I totally like accidentally. I was thinking those other clips were done. I was like, what? All these clips? Why do they say final on them? And then, so anyways, I won't make that mistake again. I see them now. I was like, where are the best private? Wait, so the one that's Good Morning America was that not the um, was that? 
Hold on. No, that was the right one. No, that was the right one. You you did. I think I don't think that was. I think that was the ABC News clip, not the the Good Morning. That one America. was ABC. I hit Good Morning America, but it came back on with the other thing again, and I, that was from, that's from our other show. That's the one we're working yeah, on. Yeah, no, that was the that was my that was my bad. That was an accident. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 oh no. I know. I did. I did an uh, epic fail. I totally like you. You the probably just completely part. blew uh, be, uh, Boy Wonder's mind there. He's like, "What does this? What does transvestites have to do with?" <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 I, I was super confused. Oh, I'm like, wait, why are we? What? Why is this on? Wait, what? I tried to keep. I tried to keep saying stop. To like oh. and stop the clip, be like, this was not the clip I was expecting, and then it kept it kept restarting. <laughs> this is an epic fail on all proportions. So yeah, I apologize, everyone. That was the wrong. That was for 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 those that are uh, Kyber Cave uh, regulars, as say Wong is, and watch multiple shows. You just got a really quick sneak peek at one of our new shows that we have coming up with Anthony and I called Unpopular Opinion. Uh, Metso is actually editing. What's going to be interesting? That's going to be a um, a uh, a pre-produced show, so it's not going to be a live show. So that I, I think is going to be out next week. But that was just a little glimpse of some of the topics that we're talking about. <laughs> if you're ready more, for more, Chris, just wait. The show will be out soon. Anyway. <laughs> Go ahead and roll that other clip. All right. right. It's the ABC News clip, correct? The Good Morning America. Good morning. America's favorite doctor. And let's go ahead and talk about an RSV vaccine for older adults. Yeah. So again, big picture. It's not just COVID we have to worry about in terms of upper respiratory viral infections and vaccine news and development. RSV, remember back from last winter, uh, was a bad actor, had a st really startling number of hospitalizations um, and associated deaths every single year. So we've heard some incredible encouraging news about a development of an RSV vaccine. Um, they've tested it now in pregnant women. Now the CDC independent panel just voted to approve its use in adults over the age of 60. So the last hurdle will be for the CDC director to sign off on that. And then we expect uh, at least two vaccines against RSV to be available in the fall, uh, just in time for you know a peak RSV season, which corresponds, of course, to influenza season as well. Um, so there's two makers, GSK and Pfizer, um, who have produced their clinical trial data. And the vaccine efficacy ranges anywhere from about 50% to 78% in lowering the risk of severe lower respiratory tract infection. So again, this is encouraging news in the world of infectious disease, public health. All right, now we're back on track. <laughs> back on track. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, the captain failed as a captain today. So. What's up, Alex? Alex, we are doing the topic yeah. that you had yeah. asked about. You had asked about yes. um, RSV, and so we are excited that you are here to, to, to watch it and check it out because this episode's for you, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so you can see, and it's just like the uh, the captain was saying, um, a lot of the symptoms are, you know, kind of mirror COVID um, yes. and other, and flu symptoms. Mm. Um, so it can be really hard to tell. And even there, it said you have to really, it's not something you're going to diagnose yourself. You've got to go to the doctor, I'm yeah. guessing, get blood work. Uh, mm -hmm. More specialized work than just looking at yourself and going, oh, I got a cough. Um, but it yeah, did say in, in babies, it could present as wheezing as well. That's really interesting. It's interesting how it can present itself in the different ways that it has. Right, right. Well, if it's presenting as wheezing, and, and again, none of us are here, mm -hmm. are doctors. We like to not. make sure that everybody right. knows that we are not medical professionals. We're just right. people that are interested in different topics about the body and brain. Um, but it would seem to me if there's wheezing, then that's got to be mucus in the lungs, right? That's got to be stuff like, it, 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 like congestion, uh, yeah, mucus yeah. And, and other uh, stuff. Yeah, it, it's usually created by bacteria that that um, encapsulates the uh, aeolus, the um, aeolus, the 
the the air. The, they they sound like that. I can't remember. Yeah, what it's they're called, like little, little airbags that are in your lungs. Little airbags in the lungs, and that you know <laughs> that that's what gets into those, and that's what why it's hard, and you have to you have to like basically like do a lot of the same things uh like to get the mucus out <laughs> you would. Right. except it's much harder because it's for like little babies or or very old adults so they're they have much more fragile immune systems so it's harder for them yeah. oh, well. so. what was that boy wonder what's that no 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 <laughs> uh, uh all right, shall we? Let's see what else do we have. In, we have more clips here. Do you have any? Yeah, we can. We can do the. Uh, we could do the symptoms. We could talk yeah, about what the symptoms. Are. This will give us a much clearer idea of what these symptoms are. <laughs> what they exactly? Are. Yeah. We're coming into the season right now, and they yeah. did. Oh, that was the other thing in the other clip. She said it was. Um, she was talking. Obviously, that was an older clip. I would guess it's a, maybe a year or two years old. Because yeah. she was talking about COVID being mixed in at this time of also RSV. Yeah. And RSV well, like was an issue um, the year before in her story when she was talking about it. So I would mm -hmm. guess that that was 2019 that she was talking about RSV being a problem before COVID hit. And so now when COVID hit, they had these two different problems going at the same time. Yeah, yeah it's interesting how, how similar they are, too. I thought that was really fascinating actually is like how they they actually like have the similar symptoms here okay so here are the symptoms the respiratory syncytial virus or rsv causes infections of the breathing passages and lungs in infants and young children rsv can cause pneumonia and is the leading cause of bronchiolitis which is an infection of the bronchioles, the small breathing tubes of the lungs. RSV is spread by contact with infected secretions such as saliva and mucus from sneezing. RSV is most contagious during the first two to four days after your child begins to feel ill. An RSV infection can last between two and eight days, but symptoms can remain up to three weeks. RSV occurs more often during the winter and early spring. Almost all children will have an RSV infection at least once before they are two years old. Most of the time, this virus only causes minor cold-like symptoms. However, for some babies, an RSV infection can be dangerous. For infants who are born early or born with heart disease or lung disease, an RSV infection can be especially serious. Premature infants often have underdeveloped lungs and may have difficulty fighting an RSV infection once they become infected. Really interesting, isn't that? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, yeah, again, the bronchial tubes. I, they're they're actually called at the end of them. They are called something different. It starts with an A, and I can't remember where it is at the moment. But they're. They uh, yeah, I totally know what you're talking about. I'm thinking like I'm back in high school biology class, thinking about like the parts of the lung. And, and I see Whoa. it as a vocabulary word. I yes. just can't. <laughs> um, oh my God. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> right. So even in that one, they said that everybody will probably have it by the time they're age two. Yes. The information yes. I had found was age four, but, you know, mm -hmm. obviously two covers four. So. Well, it's interesting how it's a precursor to bronchitis. Or bron bron yeah. Bronchi bronchitis. <laughs> and it's sensational. It's it's uh, it's it's wow, well, you're having anyway, a hard time tonight. I'm having a hard time tonight. I don't know what's going on with me and my pronunciation of things. I'm usually really good at this. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, so we have so far, we haven't seen how they find it, though. That's what I'm very interested in. Like, how do they know this is not a cold or a flu how do they know specifically this is rsv did i miss something <laughs> uh i think it's because of the way the back the bacteria forms in the lungs i'm guessing and mm. how it attacks I, I i'm guessing there's no real um fever because so the, the difference between a flu and the cold is the fever so you with one you don't get a fever and the other you do i think with the flu you get a fever and the shakes yeah. Right. Whereas mm -hmm. with the the cold, you don't really get that, but you get the congestion and everything else. 
but then so how do you know it's RSV? That's right. That's what testing. I, <laughs> I didn't go to school for this. All right, uh, we got another. We've got two. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm well, sure we can get quick facts about it. We're gonna send. We're gonna send Boy Wonder to, to school for a medical profession. He's still young. Enough. No, <laughs> you're gonna be a doctor, and you're gonna like no. it. Uh, no, <laughs> we're gonna adopt no. you into the Asian. Well, actually, aren't you? Aren't are you part Asian, Chris? Uh, 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 a quarter. Yeah. What, what are, are you? Are you Japanese? Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're gonna type it in. <laughs> um, well, so it it, has I, get, I think so. The difference between the flu and the and a cold and RSV is that it has to do with it causes breathing issues and low mm. oxygen levels. Okay, okay, that would make sense. That yeah, make sense. and you can get it more than once. And it infects the respiratory tract. That, that's the difference between it, I think, is that, but it, it does have very similar symptoms. It's got the runny nose, the fever, the cough, the wheeze. Right. But it's like, it you, but like, the reason uh, you can tell is it's like more of a whistling sound when breathing. Right. I, right and I've well, heard this. I've heard people having this. Or I've, I've heard people have had, had this and how it sounds because it's bringing back a, that kind of thing where you can hear it. it's like, <gasps> It's like that. It's like this right. kind of must whistling. And sound. it was mentioning yeah. like you know premature uh, babies that are preemies, or um, mm -hmm. uh, they said babies that had heart conditions. I would imagine if you had some kind of like autoimmunity problems, pro uh, probably you would be more susceptible to it. They said it seemed like it, you know just kind of comes and goes with most babies. Most parents just kind of take care of it, and it's you know yep. no big deal. But in a certain percentage. Um, who may have, you know, like we said, heart disease or some other issues going on. This yep. could be a bigger, bigger deal than just. So, the, it. so they do, they do do testing. So that's how they can test to set, tell if you have it. Is that they yeah. test the samples from the mucus? Mm. Ah, from the mucus. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Should we go to this next video? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to this next video. I mean, these videos. No, like I, said, I think tonight's gonna be a short night. There's not, there's not really a lot to say about. I mean, that. I guess it works for. I guess it's yeah. good for the uh, because it, we we are we do have Turkey Day coming. So that is yeah, gobble gobble. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, rock and roll. Respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV is a highly contagious seasonal respiratory virus that can infect people of all ages. Nearly 100% of all children will be infected with RSV by the time they reach two years of age. Most people, including infants, develop mild symptoms like that of a common cold, runny nose, cough, and fever. Typically, these symptoms subside within a week or two. However, RSV is unpredictable and can be severe and even life-threatening. Any infant could be hospitalized during their first RSV season. Infants younger than six months of age do not have a strong immune system and are at highest risk of developing severe RSV disease, the leading cause of hospitalization in babies. Symptoms of severe illness include trouble breathing, poor appetite, decreased activity levels, and severe cold symptoms, and a shallow cough that continues throughout the day and night. You can help prevent RSV in your baby younger than six months by avoiding close contact with people infected with respiratory diseases, avoiding sharing cups or bottles, and washing your hands with soap and water often, especially after coming into contact with an infected person. Talk to your child's healthcare provider about RSV prevention and when to seek care if your child starts experiencing symptoms. You can learn more at lung.org slash RSV. All right. Yeah. Give me an idea of that. That's that. Basically, Again, just, it's tonight, funny. That just like outlined old. everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, th this one, this one's a pretty, uh, pretty mild one compared to most things that we deal with. 
Um, we have lots of other topics to to cover uh, coming up on future shows. Um, I'm excited for those. Yeah. I know uh, Captain's getting this all organized behind the scenes. I still haven't figured out the, the Google document, so I, I got to open that up and figure it out. But um, I knew we had this week covered. <laughs> yeah, we just covered. I, I know Mets will have that, have that, or, or one of us will. I know we will. Anyways, yeah, so that's a, so that was a really interesting kind of idea there for um, like how to, like that, um, a little bit more information about RSV and how how to deal with it. Right, like um, I said, for most yeah. most parents, it's really not going to be every every single parent. If it's you have a child, every parents, single cause... parent will have dealt with it. And what that probably means, because I have a child, <laughs> and probably... he is fifteen now, that means I have already dealt with it and didn't know that we dealt with it. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to ask. I'm like, so uh, did you know that your child had RSV? <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, if they're saying 100% of children will get it, then I had absolutely no, no idea. It was probably one of the times that we just thought he had a cold. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, I, I wouldn't, if you were a parent out there, I would not stress out about this at all. This is not something that you're going to be like, oh, my God, I, I don't want to ha have to deal with RSV. No, it's like, like I yeah. said, I my child, because mm -hmm. we've never specifically gone to the hospital for it, and the videos say 100% of children have it. That means mm -hmm. that my child has gone through it possibly multiple times, and we never knew. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really just... quite a mild. I mean, again, this, but, it, you know, it's interesting how we've got all these really, like, life-threatening infection, infectious right. diseases and viruses. And this one is so mild. We're like, eh. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, this well, can be life-threatening. It, it yeah, yeah, I mean, if you're somebody you, that has autoimmune problems, um, then, you know, what? and the, th <laughs> the way I look at it, though, is if you have any of the other problems that would make this a problem, you have probably have bigger problems than this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you again, have heart it's, it's, disease, then that's a bigger issue than the RSV, I think. You know, I if agree. you have... <laughs> um, so yeah, no. you know, I, you know, and if you're born a preemie, I think you know you just you know as a parent take care. Of you already person. have undeveloped lungs, yeah, a lot of the time, or or well, most of the time. I mean, preemies. It depends on how preemie yeah, you are. Yeah, depends on how preemie but, you are. Yeah, you could be just so. a few weeks preemie and be pretty much, you know, ninety five percent baked. <laughs> pretty much. So, All right, so we got one last clip. We got the prevention and treatment clip. You want to go, right. go get through that? All right. The signs and symptoms of RSV include fever with a temperature above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, cough, wheezing, runny nose, rapid and or deep breathing, blue colored lips or fingernails, and poor appetite. In addition to these symptoms, there may be others. There are a number of ways that RSV can be treated. If your child has asthma or has trouble breathing, your doctor may try a bronchodilator to help open his or her airways. Some children who have bronchiolitis may have to be hospitalized for treatment with oxygen. If your child is unable to drink because of rapid breathing, he or she may need to receive intravenous fluids, which are given through a needle into a vein. On rare occasions, infected babies will need a ventilator to help them breathe. Antibiotics are not used for treating viral infections, including those caused by RSV. Any illness that makes it difficult for your child to breathe should be evaluated first by your child's doctor. So yeah, so there you have it. Really easy. Yeah, that one really emphasized the difficulty in breathing part of about it. You know, the wheezing and the how. Yeah, um, so how I was like, tough. yeah, I, I think that's the most difficult part of it. Right, and, right. Uh, if your baby's so. having shortness of breath, um, yeah, but you know, yeah. I, I guarantee. Well, you know, I guarantee you, any kid that's been to preschool has picked up some pretty nasty. Oh, I'm sure viruses oh, from yeah, yeah. from all yeah. the other heathens running around there yeah. <laughs> those true. little three-year-old non-hand washing punks <laughs> those ruffians <laughs> those ruffians mm -hmm. those hooligans <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, so, you know, I again, it's something, you know, it's not something, you know, to, to totally ignore, but it's not something, again, to lose sleep over, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. Unless your child is in that special category where they have, you know, love oh, issues. Oh, that and then... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, so, Alex, I hope uh, I hope some of this has helped you out. I'm not sure yeah. if this was something that you deal with on a personal basis um, uh, because, yeah. you, you know, you suggested it. So I guess it's, you know, something you knew about. Uh, but uh, hopefully that helps you out some. Uh, and we're, and it's, a, it's a way that we're going to kickstart our lung series. We're going to more, more yeah. lung. Yeah. So it actually works out really well because it, it's going to be our lung. Yeah, it's going into our lung the lung diseases. Well, so okay, I think that's then. pretty cool. Yeah, that's that, what we're going to be works. looking at next. I know we've yeah. covered um, COPD before. Yes, so COPD is not the one. Yeah, but we're, there are other ones too. No, I'm, I mean, of course, yeah. As well. But yeah, COPD know, we already know. looked at, so that's, that's kind of, but this is just to give us an idea of like, so there are others, but I think COPD is probably the most known. Well, not the most known. It, it's getting more known. I think asthma is probably the most known. Of yeah. like lung issues, but there are yeah, other ones. Probably, just probably, yeah, yeah. yeah, so we've got a few in the lung series that we can go and look look through. Mm. Yeah, uh, so we got some exciting stuff coming up. Woohoo! <laughs> so yeah, we got everything. Know, uh -huh. I think. Yeah. I think when um, I think when uh, when 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 the the MCU finally gets their stuff together and they start releasing releasing like the X Men stuff. Well, there was there there was in the last I guess the Marvels, the Marvels has come out. It's not a secret now. Like you know, in the post credit, yeah. there is a um, there is one of, in the post credit scenes you get to see Beast from the X Men universe. So I think when when X Men finally starts coming out, we should do a series on mutations. Oh, <laughs> absolutely! Because natural mutations. mutations. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. Now we have to go through the the cancer to talk about the cancer subject, so that's not going to be fun. Oh but yeah, I guess cancer is a mutation. That's true. It is actually it's an un it's unregulated cell growth. It's a, it is a type of mutation. So yeah. Right, right, right. Well, see, yeah. I mean that already changes you know my understanding of mutation just a little bit. So, um, yeah. although in I if in the Deadpool even in the Deadpool movies, uh, when Wayne uh when Wayne he yeah. had cancer. Uh -huh. Um, and then yeah. this was the the stopping, I guess, of that mutation and getting a different one that gave him his superpowers. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Cell so, so, uh, so mutation, and then there's you know genetic mutation, which is a little different, but that's very fascinating. Like having red hair, for instance, is actually a genetic mutation. Really? Yes. That's why it's really rare. Oh, see? Like having a, being a natural redhead. We learn things on this show. This is why we do we this. Do. <laughs> that's why we do this. It's fun. Uh, I, have, right, I really so, enjoy it. So uh, I, I hope everyone has a lot, a lot yeah, more for this for tonight for this topic, do we? I don't think we do. I That's what I was gonna say. I'm like, I hope everyone has a wonderful like Thanksgiving. Go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love and, uh, yeah, this is a really, really um this is a really short episode. I'm sorry. Yeah, everyone. well, this was a this was a fan <laughs> this was a fan request one, and it was one that was, yeah. you know. Uh, you know, it's but it's something that apparently we have all dealt with. So woohoo for that! <laughs> yeah, it's no, that was it, it was us. still an it was still an interesting and informative, um, like research uh, topic. Right. So it's good to know. It's like it's very common. So at least you know if you are dealing with this with your baby or with someone who's very old, knows this is actually a very very common virus yeah. and that it's easily treatable. See it all the time. Yeah. In fact, I, I was going to say there wasn't really much to tell you, like on that, um, the prevention and treatment. There really wasn't much, like it wasn't like go exercise or you know. No, really this was like you're to probably gonna your baby's gonna get it. Your old your parents, your grandparents, or your, you know old your parents <laughs> might get it when they get older. It's normal. This happens. Exactly. Just, just watch. Exactly. Just, just watch talk your to your breathing. doctor. They'll hook you up. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was pretty much it. It's just a virus. Viruses are interesting. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. Alrighty. So I don't think we will have um I don't think we will have Wednesday 
to, uh, the sh our show tomorrow. And I think uh, obviously it's going to be, oh, uh, it, yeah, the gaming show tomorrow or uh, our Thursday show because it is, it is um, Thanksgiving. So I, I don't think those will be on this week, but then we will be back next week for sure. Yeah. There is, so, if you get lonely, there is so much content. This is our 48th show. So, uh, if yeah, you know, so if you get lonely, content. just watch some of our past. Yeah. Episodes. Well, yeah. I mean, I may, I may, I may, past yeah. 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 Oh. I mean, I may be on tomorrow. I may be on tomorrow, but it might just be me. Metso may but will most likely not be here, but I'm going to talk to her about that, make sure. But for sure, I don't think we'll have a Thursday show. Yeah, so. well, yeah, well, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. So, to everybody out there, Happy Turkey Day, if that's Happy something you Turkey celebrate. Day. If yeah. not, yeah. Uh, enjoy your day off, if you get the day off. If oh, not, yeah. uh, enjoy your oh, time okay. and half at your job. <laughs> yeah, don't, drink, don't, don't party too hard. Don't drink or drive. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right, no, Joel. No, uh, Let's no, find no. that outro. Let's find that outro, Ari. Oh, I had it. I had it here. I got it. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. This is the captain. <laughs> Good night, Joel. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Thank you so much. Bye,